In the hours since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, abortion bans have gone into effect in seven states, and that number is likely to rise as other states act on trigger laws designed to go into effect at some point after the high court's ruling. And overnight, supporters of abortion rights filled the streets in many cities. This video is showing police clashing with protesters in Los Angeles. Others gathered outside the home of Justice Clarence Thomas, while anti-abortion rights backers also demonstrated in celebration. The ruling is at odds with the opinions of most Americans, at least according to an ABC News Washington Post poll released just before the leak of the draft Supreme Court ruling. The survey suggesting that most Americans favored upholding Roe, keeping abortion legal in all or most cases, and that the decision should be left up to a woman and her doctor. We start our coverage with a ABC's Terry Moran at the Supreme Court. Good morning to you, Terry. Good morning, Eva. It's a new day in America for women in this country who have lost a constitutional right first recognized 50 years ago. For the millions of Americans who fought for decades to end that right, and many of those now feel that their prayers have been answered, and for the Supreme Court and its newly emboldened activist conservative majority. This morning, shockwaves across the country in a sweeping ruling that overturned a half a century of precedents, five justices ended the right of American women to choose abortion under the Constitution. The monumental decision now leaves the issue up to the 50 states. The Supreme Court Friday overturning Roe versus Wade. The much anticipated ruling upheld Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks by a vote of six to three, with five of the conservative justices also voting to overturn Roe. Justice Samuel Alito writing in the majority opinion that the Constitution makes no reference to abortion and no such right is implicitly protected by any constitutional provision. The monumental decision now leaves the issue up to the 50 states. The decision handed down more than eight weeks after that unprecedented leak of a draft version of Justice Alito's opinion. For those opposed to abortion rights, it was a day of victory and vindication. We've been working on this for actually more than 50 years before Roe v. Wade, uh, working to protect unborn children. We have um, certainly in the pro-life movement, a lot of support and programs, uh, centers, pregnancy centers that will help uh, women. In dissent, Justice Stephen Breyer, joined by Justices Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, sounded a somber warning. With sorrow for this court, but more for the many millions of American women who have today lost a fundamental constitutional protection, we dissent. President Biden addressing the nation, saying it is a sad day for the court and for the country. The court has done what it has never done before, expressly take away a constitutional right that is so fundamental to so many Americans that had already been recognized. Former President Trump taking credit for recent conservative Supreme Court decisions because I delivered everything as promised, including nominating and getting three highly respected and strong constitutionalists confirmed to the United States Supreme Court. And now with this ruling, 13 states could enact their so-called trigger laws outlawing abortion after Roe is gone. So far, seven states have put their bans in effect. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi calling the court's ruling cruel and heart-wrenching. This is deadly serious. But we are not going to let this pass. A woman's right to choose reproductive freedom is on the ballot in November. In his opinion, Justice Alito insisted that this ruling applies only to abortion. But the reasoning that the court used to overturn Roe versus Wade could be used to go after other rights. And Justice Clarence Thomas said it should. He wrote his own opinion in which he called on this court to reconsider the cases that established a right to purchase contraceptives, a right for gay people to get married, even a right to private sexual conduct. Wit. All right, Terry, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.